All right, so welcome to the next video. This one's called Google Grants and your nonprofit's website, right? So um, we are in step three in the five steps to successful Google Grant. And, you know, we're going to go over everything that, you know, well, actually not everything. We don't have enough time for all that, but we're going to go over a lot of key things that your nonprofit's website should have in place when using your Google Grant so that you get the most from it, right? And so it's these five topics we're going to briefly go over here today. One is, is it avatar focused? Is your website's nonprofit's website avatar focused? Is it mobile friendly? You know, are you using landing pages, which is a very powerful tool and one of the most important things your nonprofit needs to do, needs to do when it's using Google Grant. So we'll go over that. Um, and then we'll go over what we call the homepage mini checklist. And lastly, we'll go over your nonprofit's donation page, right? So again, each one of these five topics can have a whole entire presentation in and of itself. So we can't go um, and do the deep dive here, but we wanted to make you aware of these, uh, you know, five steps for your nonprofit. So up first is your nonprofit's website avatar focused, right? So, you know, have you taken the time? You know, you, you're really familiar with avatars. Hopefully you've made yours by now, right? But after you've done that, you know, one of the first things you want to do is, you know, go back to your website and think, hey, is my donor avatar, my volunteer avatar, or those I serve avatar and those that I need to get this awareness out to, you know, is my website set up for them 100% or does my website prioritize them, right? So you can go through your website and update it and you'll be surprised prize the results from doing so um, are just very powerful uh, you know in the case of boys to men which we referenced earlier right so they have they know their avatars very very well and who they're attracting so their volunteers or mentors right um, they have a lot of great information set up on their website for them and use their Google grants that way and then when it comes to their donors they they're very familiar and aware of who their mission resonates with right so they've taken the time um, when we built this website for them a few years back uh, to understand that and implement that across their website. So by the time they got using the Google Grant, everything was set up the right way. Next, uh, you know, we'll stay with Boys to Men here um, and their website, but it's definitely mobile friendly. So here's just a snapshot of their homepage on the left, and this is what it looks like when it's you know spread out on someone's desktop or laptop. And on the right here is what it would look like on a cell phone. So that's mobile friendly. And again, this is huge because uh, you know, and Google will no longer show websites on Google that aren't mo uh, mobile friendly moving forward. So that's just a really big deal. Plus, it's just better for the website visitors, right? With the Google Grant, you're going to be getting upwards of five thousand you know website visitors or more every month and if it's not mobile friendly you're actually going to be losing the majority of your website visitors interest and um, unable to start building relationships with those important people then we go over landing pages so we're going to slow down just a second um, on this topic because this is one of the top three if not one of the top number one tips and tools that nonprofits need to know about when it comes to using Google grants right so so many of the times, nonprofits that don't know this information you're learning, um, if you haven't heard this already, you know, fail tremendously with a Google grant. And here's why. Um, they get going with a grant and they just start sending all that traffic, all those website visitors, you know, to, to randomly to the home page or, you know, maybe to random pages on, on their website. And what happens is, you know, we talked about the website needing to be avatar focused, right? When it's not avatar focused and you're just sending traffic to these random pages, um, you're going to miss opportunities to, to capture their attention and then be able to begin building a relationship with them and delivering the right information and we'll go into that right and it's these uh, you know landing pages need to have these seven core steps so uh, let's get into that and we're going to continue to use this example with boys to men so you know is it avatar focus we just talked about you know they attract mentors here and here's what that looked like right so everything from the headline here in this case it's what everyone ought to know about working with troubled teens right so that language speaks directly to the mentor type of volunteer that are looking to get information you know out there to um, and you know in this example persona here you know they have a mentor and they've taken the time to use their persona for their landing page when it comes to the pictures the words everything they've done here then up next you know uh, with boys to men 
and this landing page, you're able to use what's called the opt-in and the lead magnet. And you're very familiar with this. Anytime you've ever subscribed to something, uh, this is called an opt-in, right? And so your landing pages should have this. You know, don't mind how you may personally feel about, you know, subscribing to something. A lot of the times, you know, it's super spammy and we might have these personal feelings towards subscribing to something um, that we don't like about it. But in this case, when the right person or mentor finds this ad on Google and then comes to your landing page, the information is going to be really valuable and they're going to want it so subscribing is something that they'll be interested in doing and that's how you'll be able to start the relationship off immediately right so in this case um, you know after someone subscribes we immediately we created this great guide where we uh, you know send them the top tips on how to become a better mentor right so giving them something very valuable there and when you use landing pages um, and you're using your Google Grants, this is something you're going to want to do, right? And there's some software and all kinds of tools that help with this. It's easy to use for your nonprofit, and I'll give you a heads up on what some of those are in a few slides from here. You know, next, uh, this is, again, a, a big topic in and of itself, but I wanted to reiterate how important the words are on your landing pages. You know, they need to be well thought out. They can't just be this random um, information that your, you know, your staff member, maybe, you know, your director creates. It needs to be strategic and use a lot of marketing best practices to get the best results with it. So you, good thing you're learning this information here. And then copy, right? So we talked about headlines. They're the most important, but underneath that, your copy needs to be uh, just as well thought out. Mobile friendly. So we talked about your website needs to be mobile friendly, but again, so does your landing pages, right? So um, those are two separate things, your website and landing pages, or you use landing pages you know, on your website, but regardless, they both need to be mobile friendly there. And so that was uh, it on that topic. Up next, we get into the homepage mini checklist, and we have four things that uh, you know you should be made aware of when it comes to your homepage. So in this example, we're gonna uh, use a nonprofit here out of San Diego, who is a phenomenal program uh, that really specializes in getting homeless youth um, the resources and relationships they need to get off the streets and change their life. Right. So this nonprofit's called Urban Street Angels, and a few years back, um, I built this website for them uh, and they are using Google Grants as well um, but with those we're gonna use these four uh, use them as an example and go over these four things um, that you're gonna want to keep top of mind for your nonprofit as well right so when a brand new website visitor comes to your website the number one thing they should be able to ask here is you know they need to be able to um, answer you know your, your, your home page needs to be able to answer you know what is this right and so right away when you come to urban street angels it says ending youth homelessness so immediately this website visitor knows what this you know nonprofit is about and, and takes a stand for up next is you know point number two what do they have here right so immediately you know there's a donate now or learn more button but below that they have um, some some parts on their website where it says you know what we do who we are and gets into a little bit more information that directly answers what does this nonprofit have here on this home page um, and their website right up next your home page needs to be able to answer the question what can I do here if it's lacking this information intuitively you know your website visitors are gonna miss out and so is your nonprofit right so uh, in this case here you know they have joint an outing um, you know latest news and upcoming events they have all this information towards the bottom of their home page that helps the website visitor you know identify what they can do here and last but not least you know sometimes whether you realize it or not, your nonprofit may be competing for donors that are looking to support causes, right? So if I'm a donor that works really hard for my money and I'm looking to make a donation, you know, I may look up and review a couple of nonprofits. And if your website and your homepage can answer this question of, you know, why should I be here and give my hard earned money toward your, towards your cause and not somewhere else, you know, you'll be able to um, have much more impact with that website visitor. So I hope a lot of that made sense. If anything didn't, again, be sure to ask a question in the box below the video, and I uh, can answer that for you there. And then, arguably, one of the, if not the most important, you know, page on your website is your donation page, right? And again, this is a topic that I can do a whole entire presentation on, you know, in and of itself here. Plus, combined with all the you know fundraising strategies that one needs to successfully use a donation page, but uh, we can't get into all that. But we just wanted to go over these four points. And so, for this example, this is another nonprofit that I helped to build a website for a few years back, and they're called Support Salabai, and they're an amazing nonprofit that helps fight human trafficking in Cambodia through um, education and job training and all kinds of um, 
great resources in that community, right? So, uh, you know, with this donation page here, you know, it's avatar focused. So we we knew a lot about what you know their ideal donor was, and we were able to build this page around that information. You know, next is your donation page transparent. And what we mean about that is, you know, a lot of the time, so many nonprofits just put four prices or four amounts, you know, on their donation page, on their pay PayPal page, and um, you know, ask people to come to that page and make a donation. But when you are transparent and you say something along the lines of, you know, uh, where we did here with, in this example is, you know, hey, $11.50, you know, provides full housing and accommodations for an entire student for one month. So when you're able to, sh uh, you know, transparently show how a donation is used um, with as simple as two sentences, like in this example, you know, your donors and those that are looking to support you can really resonate with you on a deeper level. Um, you know, another example here is that, so for fourteen dollars, you know, we'll supply a student with all the supplies they need for one year, right? So fourteen dollars is able to provide all that um, in this in this example, and that's a you know it's, it's important for a donor to just see that and realize that. You know, up next is you know is your donation page fast, right? So we just want to make sure it's not slow, it doesn't load slow, it's not clunky. You'll lose some donations because of that, especially um, in volume using Google Grants. And then you know, is it easy to use, right? It just it, um, if it's complicated or looks confusing, a lot of people won't trust it and they might not donate. Okay, so earlier in the presentation, you heard me mention that I'd briefly go over some of the best resources that I could recommend when it comes to, uh, you know, your website and some landing pages. So really quickly, um, on the topic of, uh, you know, a website. So you may already have a website for your nonprofit. It's great. It's easy to use, and you love it. You might not, but just wanted to let you know that everything we build for any nonprofit here at Mission Boost begins with WordPress. Um, when it comes to a website, and the number one reason. Uh, there's many, there's many, but the number one reason is how customizable WordPress is with, you know, whatever setup your nonprofit already has when it comes to, you know, you're already using PayPal or some type of special online donation system, you know, are, are using constant contact or whatever software you're using to send out emails to your, your database and all the tools that it takes to succeed online, WordPress works with. And above all else, it works great with Google Grants, right? So wanted to give you that quick tip there and then for those of you that might not have the ability to quickly get a landing page built you know for the different avatars um, when you're using your Google Grants there's these two softwares called lead pages and click funnels and these are templates for landing pages that have been highly designed so that means that when visitors come to them they look great and they get the most amount of clicks they're easy to use and again they integrate with pretty much um, any existing setup that you may already have so hopefully um, if you're interested and you know running landing pages for yourself uh, take a look at those softwares there so that brings us to the end of today's presentation uh, it was really short I hope you liked it just wanted to again remind you um, if anything popped up uh, and if you haven't already just be sure to leave a question in the box below okay so the next and last video is all about applying for Google Grants I hope you're really excited for that video there and then we'll also uh, talk a little bit more about that Google Grant strategy call and Mission Boost Academy right so for those of you interested uh, you know and maybe working with Mission Boost and uh, learning more about how we can help you um, we'll briefly go over some of the information about how Mission Boost Academy works there so looking forward to seeing you in the next video